What's up, guys? Matt Tolbers. So we're out in the middle of the woods. It is what's up, guys? Matt Tolbers. So I'm out in the middle of the woods. Already dark out, so we are with the animals. But we got our little tent in the back, so that's where I'll be sleeping tonight. Um, Savannah is with me, my daughter here. Right after school, I said, "Hey, do you want to go camping?" So we forgot a couple things, but we're working with what we got. This is actually where I saw my first black bear. Got the bed set up on my cot. Got my little tail veil back here. Got a little table for now. We already got Savannah's cot right here. We just got to put it in there tonight. Our heater, if we get cold, we'll be turning that on. It actually feels really good right here. I think it's supposed to get down to like 35 Fahrenheit tonight. So should stay warm enough. I got a hoodie and then like another little sweater and a t-shirt on. So I'm feeling pretty good. But back here is definitely cooler than in there. We're about to do some night walking here in a bit and see if we can see anything with the thermal. So this should be fun. Look at this sweet setup in the middle of the woods. It is a Friday afternoon, so there's a lot of people out here, unfortunately. But no one near us, but there's cars driving by. You cozy back there? Yeah. That's without a heater on. And this is where we are, middle of the woods. I don't uh, usually like coming uh, camping on a Friday or on the weekend because there's so many cars and people. But there's no parking, there's no parking spots for way down there, so... There she is, guys. What is that, guys? Wait, let's go check what that is, guys. Let's check if it's out here. The next step up from this is like $1,300. So um, for $500, I'm pretty happy with this. My next thermal, you know, will probably be a couple thousand dollars and then it'll look really sweet on my YouTube videos. Yeah, we're about to uh, go for a little walk and see if we can see any animals. See, there's a the little tent. Got the, the rain fly on there. I don't think we're gonna get any rain, but I'm not sure. So there's where I'll be sleeping tonight. So well, we're just walking down a random dirt road in the middle of the woods. I think it's around 9 p.m. or about 8.50 something p.m. So it's just getting darker now. Um, there's obviously a lot of animals out here, but I don't think they'll mess with us, so. Should be good. Maybe we'll catch something on thermal or uh, some glare of the eyes from the flashlights here. So we got a ways to walk down this road and then to get to the actual trail. So so this is my normal flashlight. And when I say normal, this is a really bright flashlight for how small it is. You can obviously get brighter flashlights if you get a really big one. And I'm going to show you my pinpoint light. See, there's my pinpoint light. You probably can't see good because the camera doesn't want to like... There's too much darkness around it, but I can see anything around that whole bend down there. All right, so, so far this thermal, right? We're walking down this trail. It's blinding. I can't see anything. It's absolutely pitch dark. Even with the flashlight, we can't see anything. But I look through the thermal and I can see there's like gotta be a truck down there. It looks like quite a ways down there. So it's like, you can see the red around it and stuff. So it's kind of crazy. So they got this, uh, trail right here a bunch of dirt probably because they don't want like snow built mobilers and vehicles driving through this that's why they call it sand dunes there's a bunch of sand here a lot of horses and stuff come walking through here oh you know that is horse right there let's walk to the top of this hill what is that it's a trunk it's just so hard to see all people shot the trunk you can see a bunch of bullet holes Screaming. Safe white van. No more red van. This is our dedicated van camper. Got that little animal trail behind us. Hopefully we don't get any visitors tonight. We hear a lot of coyotes screaming, so nobody can see in. Over here you can tell there's light in there. 
as you can see, but you can't tell any other lights are on. Oh, there, that was a good flip. It's gonna be like opposite sides, but whatever. Let's turn it all the way to off. Got my ice cold water. You still having a treat? Oh, probably not. But it's nice having this little tail wheel back here, especially with this uh, rain guard on it, because it actually feels like a shelter. It feels like the van's just really big, like a, a, a room connected to the van. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's a little half pipe. It'll fold down here. It's just cold and once you lay down on that side it'll go flat. I can't get up. Take my shoe off. Oh, it's gonna get crumbs all over my bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is so comfortable no joke like this is an amazing blanket i wanted it but she jacked it i was going to give her my nice warm winter sleeping bag and i was going to take the summer one and then that sleep that and she wanted that set up but she'll be in the warmer van here so now. No, she just needs a pillow <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be so comfortable. We'll see. Well, you you okay. should pull the sleeping bag up higher. I don't feel You're barely in it, it looks like. Well, guys, I am in bed here. I took my hoodie off, so feeling the temperature a little bit more, but my body's warm inside this zero degree sleeping bag. So this actually feels pretty cool. I, like I said, I've never slept back here, but when you're actually laying down, like this is kind of the view, like it just feels really like. I don't know, it feels very safe and protected. Like I don't really feel like I'm outside. It feels safer than a regular tent. But my daughter's like watching Mr. Beast or something. I don't know what she's doing, but got my protection ready to go. Got my ice cold water, got the van all locked up. So nothing's getting in here. We're about to turn these lights off. So as long as nothing crazy happens tonight, I'll see you in the morning. But if something does happen, hopefully I'll be able to record it. So see you guys in the morning. morning guys just out here having coffee my daughter's inside the van it's quite a bit warmer in there because we have that uh, heater running right now but it's super peaceful out here if you guys can kind of tell but i'm trying to be quiet because there are a lot of people out here hunting there's actually somebody right next to us that parked they were really respectful and quiet because it was still dark when they got here but they're out there hunting and a lot of uh gunshots going off right now today is actually deer opener for uh rifles or guns or whatever so that's why there's a lot of people here and it's obviously a Saturday so I knew it'd be really busy there's a lot of cars driving by at like five in the morning so I didn't sleep the best on my little air mattress but Savannah slept really well inside that van but this was kind of a practice run for us I just wanted to get out here quick and uh, have a little fun and see 
what I need to change to be able to uh, camp to with the van comfortably. I heard some branches breaking and stuff last night, but nothing got super close to us, so that was good. The only bad thing about any kind of tent is they love to get kind of nasty, wet, and sandy. So that's the one thing I love about van camping. Now yeah, we're going to head out of here. I'll be going solo camping in a couple days. That will be a sweet video. So we got like thunderstorms coming and could possibly turn into snow. I'm not really sure. So. Uh, yeah, this is just kind of a little practice run for me and Savannah. Until next time. Peace.